In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the 2023 Grand Design Transcend 245RL. Now this is a rear living floor plan. It's 30 feet, eight inches. It features two double doors, uh, a full bathroom, and also a full size queen. Uh, before I get into that, if you're not familiar with the Transcend line, uh, the Transcend is Grand Design's entry level um, line that is designed to compete with your standard aluminum sided wood frame builds on the market. However, uh, it is definitely a step above the rest uh, as far as quality and price point. They, they actually discount from the manufacturer to actually be able to compete with your most common uh, aluminum, uh, aluminum built travel trailers on the market. Before I get into it, my name is Cliff Townsend. I work at Whitehorse RV in our Egg Harbor City location. Uh, I also go by Townsend RV on YouTube and TikTok. Go ahead and uh, check me out there if you'd like uh, for more videos like this. I post videos pretty much on a daily basis now, um, and I will look forward to any comments, questions, uh, or requests on what type of uh, trailer you want me to go over next. Um, so here we go. I'm going to go get into it now. Again, this is the 2023 Grand Design Transcend 245RL. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to start by going over the exterior first, and then we'll head on to the inside. Uh, one of the first things to talk about in the front is Grand Design actually brings their insulation down the front of this cap here. A lot of other manufacturers save on money will uh, not bring insulation, which if you have any headwinds while you're sleeping, that's where your bedroom is. It can tend to get a little colder. So with the way the Grand Design insulates all of their trailers, uh, that is going to uh, keep the temperature where you want it a lot better. On the front here, you do have a power tongue jack with a light to help you hook up in the evening. It is a two and five sixteenths inch ball. Uh, two propane tanks uh, with the cover. Uh, they are two uh, 20 pound tanks, so you have 40 pounds of LP standard. On the front here, you've got a uh, flag pole holder. And then here is your uh, pass-through storage, huge pass-through storage, finished, heated, and closed. Um, Grand Design uses magnetic latches on all of their uh, storage doors, so you're not going to have those little clips that break. Again, I mentioned earlier, this is a double door entry, and both uh, doors do have the aluminum uh, non-slip steps, which are lighter weight, less uh, chance of rusting, easier to fold up. It does have a large uh, power awning. Um, that expands the majority of the trailer. On the front here, you've got uh, TV hookups, cable out, output right there, your fresh uh, tank fill there on this side with a double axle. I really like the colors of this. It, it matches most of your um, you know, white and black trucks on the market, which are the most common colors. A lot of my customers really like it because they think it matches. On the back here, uh, you do have a ladder. Grand Design is one of the only manufacturers that uh, puts a ladder on all of their travel trailers uh, and fifth wheels for that matter of fact, uh, standard, um, which means that you can go up and maintain your roof, which you would be required to do so. It is prepped with a Furion backup camera, which you could purchase one of those at our store. Your, uh, your spare tire is mounted on the, a on the back for access, easy access, and then your um, 30 amp plug would be right here. I'm gonna hop onto the front here. Continue with the back side of the trailer here. Uh, so here is your other side of your front pass-through storage. This is where you would connect your water here, bring it up through here, and then you could switch between uh, fresh tank fill and city water all right here without having to disconnect. You have a power, um, a battery disconnect here, uh, two 120 uh, volt outlets here, your satellite and cable in there, and your um, your solar charge controller for your solar panel that is mounted. Now this does have motion sensing lighting, so as I open this up, those lights would come on. And then you have a spray port here, so you t your, that's a quick connect hose that goes right there that you can you know wash off your pots, pans, your dog, your boots. Uh, and then you have a black tank flush here. Right here is your dump valve, your black tank and gray tank which is located in front of your uh, backslide here. So that is the exterior of the trailer. I'm gonna head on to the inside now. Okay, so as you enter into the trailer here, you will see it is a very open floor plan with one of the largest countertops in the business. 
Uh, lots of uh, storage cabinets in this trailer. This particular one is equipped with the recliners. So that is three uh, recliners there that do, all three of them do uh, recline into a seated and laying position. In the rear here, you have a tri-fold sofa and I will probably do a video inside this insert of me putting that into bed mode and also the recliners. All Grand Designs come standard with a uh, smart TV. You got your microwave, three burner stove and a oven and a pot drawer down there, which open up there. Nice deep drawer there for your pots and pans. Um, more storage under here. There's your fuse box, a couple drawers. Like the, uh, the solid wood cabinetry in this, and usually in this class, guys, they are those particle board, um, which you know kind of kind of are flimsy, fall apart, have issues. These are actually solid wood, guys, with, with real glass inserts. Um, you do have a residential aluminum uh, sink, nice deep sink here. I like it better than the ones that cut in half. You could put your big pots and pans with residential faucet. Uh, your your fridge is a 12 volt fridge If you haven't seen a 12 volt fridge we really really love them um, It gives you so much space gives you um, Residential fridge space with the ability to always have a cold fridge in fact I just have a jump box that I put on there 15 minutes ago and I can already feel the cold coming out of this uh, Fridge and freezer right this second. So as long as you have a good battery uh, You will have a cold fridge. This is actually a pet drawer a lot of my customers will put their food bowl down there and it's right, it's right at the right height for their, their pets to be able to access their food easily. Um, they use these barn style doors, which um, take up less space. And you'll notice it's a really, really wide entry. So you're not squeezing and turning sideways to get through. Now this is, I said, this is a full size bathroom. Well, that's because it expands the entire eight feet of this trailer. This is an eight foot trailer. Beautiful shower surround, soap ledges there. You do have a skylight there for those of you who are taller. The way this uh, um, door closes here, it actually, when you open it, it actually will squeegee the water down into the pan to drain out so you don't get mold. And another big thing in this class that you don't normally see is this is actually a porcelain toilet, guys. If you ever sat in those plastic toilets, they leave something to be desired, that's for sure. Three towel cubbies there that you can really deep I can stick my whole arm in there and store some uh, towels in there then into your master bedroom so you've got shelving above you've got your wardrobe on the left and right with a, a drawer you've got 120 uh, outlets on both sides and 12 volt outlets on both sides your TV would be mounted right there there is already it is back so you can just mount a TV up there and here's your outlets right there Again, second door entry, what's really nice is you can enter into the bedroom here. Say you have people watching living, people in the living room, you don't have to interrupt them or they can go in the back while you come in this. It's just, it's really nice to have the double door entry. And then they do give you this additional wardrobe. Some hooks there for hanging and then two more drawers. So uh, lots of storage in this master bedroom here uh and then with the the bathroom being in the middle like this it actually kind of really gives you a big barrier between bedroom and living room now i'm going to set up um set the camera down and i'm going to put that um sofa into a bed and i'll probably also lay out this uh recliner so let's see if i can get both of them in the same shot here here we go Okay, so this is just Velcro to the back here. We're gonna take the cushions off, put them to the side for now. And it's just as simple as lifting up on the front, put your legs down, and then you are now in bed mode. So if you carry one of those, um, you know, those uh, foam, uh, foam, uh, Toppers, mattress toppers, that can be a really comfortable sleeping spot for two adults if need be on the occasional uh, time that you uh, have a guest that are staying with you. Okay, and then for the recliners, 
all three seating positions again do actually fold out. Pull up on this, and you can lay out as far as that. Now, uh, what I don't have in the picture here is under the bed, there is additional storage with a table that actually folds out that will act as a, um, you know, a dining table, card table for whatever you need to set up right here. All right, so that is the 2023 Grand Design Transcend 245 RL. If you like this video, please go ahead and like, comment, and share, subscribe. Uh, like I said, I do videos like this every day. If you need more information on this, more pictures, more, you know, a price, go ahead and click the link below. Um, and, um, it will, you know, you can get access to our website and all of the details on this particular unit. Uh, if you'd like to call me directly at 609-404-1717, um, my extension is 105. Again, my name's Cliff Townsend. If you are familiar with Whitehorse RV and are already working with a salesperson here, please continue to work with them. I just do these videos as uh, a favor to help you see what the interior is like and also, um, you know, to get Whitehorse RV's name out there. Thanks again. Have a great day. Until the next video, happy camping.